Alrighty hosses, welcome back. And in this video, what I want to do is I want to show you guys how to edit and remove comments. Now, just to give you guys a real quick reminder of the status of our application, right now we can click this edit button and it will take us to this new um, kind of view and we can change the text, but when we hit save, it doesn't actually save it. So we got the kind of interface changes working, but none of the kind of brains behind it. And also this remove button, it doesn't do anything. So we can hit remove and let's actually see what it does. Yeah, it just logs out something in the console. So they don't perform as expected. So that's what we're gonna be taking care of in this tutorial. So before I get to the actual comment component, I just wanna go ahead and take care of the board component because we have to do some work on it. So the very first thing I'm gonna do is actually just clean up this render function. Because in this render function, as we saw in the last video, what we did is we essentially looped through this array and for each item in the array, we created a new comment from it. And we did so using this anonymous function, AKA a function with no name. So let's just go ahead and clean that up and just make a named function from it. And I'll just write each comment. So I'm actually just gonna set this equal to this right here. And I'm way too lazy to type it again. So set equal to that and boom roasted, there I go. So now I can tighten this up since it's all on one line. And remember, inside this map function right here, we still need to pass in a callback. So we'll just write pretty much a reference to this function, but now it has a name and we can reference it by calling this each comment. So right now we really didn't change anything other than just clean up the code. And if we refresh this, we can see that it's the exact same. Now remember, it's gonna call this function each time it renders each component or creates a new comment. So I'm actually gonna make a couple changes to here and how do I wanna do this? All right, let me break this up so it's a little bit easier to see. Let me put these on new lines because I'm gonna be introducing a few more concepts. So you know in the last video I said that essentially every time you make a new comment you need a way to uniquely identify it. And we did so through this key right here. Well, the truth is a key is, like I said, a unique identifier, but it's really for React. It's not really for programmers. So whenever you want to keep track of each new comment, what you can do is you can actually just add another index and set this equal to the same thing. So this I right here is just going to be the um, increment for your array. So zero, one, two, three. However, instead of messing with React stuff, um, we're just going to set an index and then when we say um, get comment zero, it gets this one. Whenever we get comment two, it gets this one. So we're pretty much gonna be using the index and leaving the key um, kind of out of it. So a couple other things I wanna mention is this. You know that whenever you use properties, a property basically allows you to pass data to the child component. So now we can you know, pass bacon and throw some data in here, and then it's gonna give a bacon property to comment. So why do I say that? Well, right now we have each comment with its own unique index, but we also wanna pass in a property of a callback function. So whenever we pass properties or data to child components, they don't just have to be strings or numbers or kind of static data. You can actually pass in entire functions. Kind of weird, but check this out. What we're gonna wanna do is we're gonna wanna pass in a callback function to delete and edit these comments. So how is it gonna know which one to delete? Well, it's gonna know via the index. So I'll show you guys exactly what I'm talking about. First, we're gonna have to make a new function on this board to remove a comment. So I'll just write remove comment. And all this is gonna do is it's gonna be a function, get all my housekeeping crap taken care of, now, what information do we need whenever we remove a comment? Well, all we're gonna require is the index of the array. So we're gonna pass in the index, and if this is equal to zero, it's gonna delete the first one. If this is equal to two, it's gonna delete the third one, so on and so forth. So now let's just, should I log something out? All right, console log. Let me just print it out in case we have any bugs. We can see what's going on. I'll say removing comments I all right so whenever we remove a comment 
if we want to look in the log, it'll say removing comment zero or whatever. So now what we need to do is actually remove it from the array. So we first need a reference to this array. And if I just copy this, kind of cheat a little bit here. So I'm going to make a variable and just name it ARR. You can name it whatever you want. And it's equal to this state comments. Now, this is the thing. Whenever we want to remove an item from the array in JavaScript, what we can do is we can actually splice the array. Now, this is kind of weird because here, let me go ahead and write it. It's probably going to be a lot easier to understand. All right. Actually, let me show you guys what just popped up. So whenever we use the splice function, it takes a number in a start. So essentially what this is going to do is it's going to say, okay, how many items do you want to remove and where do you want to start at? Well, we just want to start at whatever item we pop, we threw in. So if we said I equals this, then start there. And since we only want to remove one comment instead of like the five comments after it, then we just throw ahead one right there. So now what this is going to do is pretty much give you a new array stored in ARR with that comment removed. So there's probably, you know, a more convenient way to do it, but now you understand kind of the details behind it. All right. So check this out. This is still the state of the comment. We didn't change this at all. We just made kind of a copy of it. So once we made a copy of this, we popped off one of the items. So now the last thing we have to do is actually take our state and set it equal to this new array, the updated array. So how do we do this? Well, if you guys remember, anytime you want to change a state, you just write set state, and then you pass in your state objects that you want to change. So ours was named comments, and you don't need to write this dot state dot comments because it already knows that you're working with this component state from there. In the new value of comments, which is just ARR. So again, one last time, we made a copy of this array. We popped off whatever item we passed in, and then we pretty much set the new array equal to the updated array. Boom roasted, easy peasy, beautiful cover girl. So this is what we're going to call essentially whenever the user clicks this button right here. Pretty cool, eh? So now the next thing I have to do is we need to make an update function. So that takes care of the remove button, but now we have to take care of this edit button right here. So essentially whenever they hit edit, make a new comment and hit save, then this function is going to be called that I'm about to type right now. So I'll just write um, update comments, and this is going to be a function as well. And it's kind of going to work the same with a few changes. So let me go ahead and all right, so we can't just throw in an index right here because whenever we update a comment, we actually need the text as well. So we're going to update a comment. So set this text equal to this item in the array. So instead of just I, I'll just write like new text and I. So we basically pass in something like uh, Bucky is awesome. And it's going to set Bucky is awesome equal to like the zeroth array element. That's it. So I'll say updating comments. Um, I won't even give anything there. Updating comment. Keep it real nice and simple. All right. So after this, we of course need a reference to the comments again. So boom roasted, there you go. And now instead of just popping an item off, we want to get a reference to that specific array item. So array I. In this case, it would be the zero with one or the first one. And then all we do is we set this equal to the new text, whatever the user typed in. So there you go. And last but not least, you pretty much take the current array and we update it. So it's now referencing the new array. So again, that's all we do whenever we want to edit any of the comments in this list. All right. Actually, let me think, let me think. All right, so before I let you guys go, I am going to, yeah, you know what? I think that this is good for this tutorial. Um, in the next tutorial, I'll show you guys how the heck this comment component actually calls these functions since they're in an entirely different component. It's a really cool trick, so I'll see you guys then.